Hey everybody, Jimmy here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming to you from my super swank office. I want to talk today about natural gases overall direction for the remainder of the week. I've been trying to keep up this series week after week and it sounds like from the comments I'm receiving that you guys really like it. So again, comment and let me know if you want me to tweak anything or if you want me to add any more content to it. But I'm going to break down the natural gas futures and how it applies to UGAS and DGAS, which are the correlating and the inverse ETFs. And we're just gonna look at the weekly chart, the daily chart, we're gonna break it all down and assess where we're going for the remainder of this week. So stay tuned. All right guys, so as you know, I like to use the weekly chart to start off with things. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at the weekly chart on forward slash NG, and then we're just gonna kinda get into talking about what we see as the current trend for this week, taking last week into consideration, and then from there, we'll sort of move to the smaller time frames like the daily, and we'll even look at the five minute just to see what's going on for today. So right now, if I look at the weekly chart, you can see right down here that and if I zoom in a tiny bit here, you can see that last week's candle was a move to the upside, which is good, right? But we have some more room to continue moving up, and this kind of creates an interesting scenario where I think, even though we're in a downtrend, I think we're reverting back to the moving average. So you can see on forward slash NG that when we look at the weekly chart, it seems like it's been wanting to come back to the 20 simple moving average, which is this blue line. Every time it comes there, it then moves down, stretches out that rubber band, then gets snapped back into being reverted back to the 20. Pushes out again, and I think we're gonna get snapped back again. So I do think we have some room to the upside, back to the 20 simple moving average on the weekly chart. Now, if we drill down, let's go to the daily chart and let's see what we've got here. So you can see we've got our higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So we're kind of getting to the point where this is sort of becoming, I'm gonna remove this real quick. And this is kind of our new lower low. And now we're looking at a higher low here, but the history of this chart, the daily chart says that every time we get back to this red line, which is the 50 simple moving average, every time we get there, we then push down and stretch out the rubber band. Then we get snapped back. We have some reversion back to the 50 simple moving average. Then we stretch out the band. We get snapped back. We stretch out again. We get snapped back. And so the same thing I think is starting to happen here where we got pushed to the downside, we set a new lower low, and now we're getting pushed or snapped back to the 50 simple moving average. So I think that we have some room for the rest of this week to be moving towards the 50, and then once we get to that 50 moving average, I think we have to be really careful because at that point, we'd be looking for a possible move higher with a pullback so that we get confirmation and then a continuation to the upside. So if we break the 50 moving average, should we jump in and double down and go hard and go long? No, we should wait. We should wait to get a pullback and that way we can get some confirmation that we're gonna go higher. Because we could just break it, tuck right back under and go lower because we are in a downtrend. So as long as we're in a downtrend, that's the way that we wanna be biased until it confirms otherwise. So we'll keep watching this for the remainder of the week, but I do think that forward slash injury, NG, the natural gas futures, is going to move higher for the remainder of the week, and then when we get to that 50, we'll reevaluate at that time. So let's jump into the five minute chart. Let's just take a quick look. I'm gonna load a different study set here for ETFs. So I've got the VWAP on here. Now, this is kind of confirming a little bit of our hypothesis that we're gonna move further to the long side, moving back to the 50 moving average, because you can see starting at about 10 minutes after six this morning, we started getting a pretty good move up. Then we reverted back to the middle VWAP, 
then we're getting another hard move up. So we are moving to the upside, and I think that that trend will continue through the rest of this week, and then we'll reevaluate and we'll make decisions at, the, at that time. So I hope this was helpful for everybody. Leave comments, let me know if you want more in these videos, or if you want less, or if you want me to just tweak a few things. But each week I'm gonna try to give you my natural gas direction or bias. So anyway, hope you all are green. We'll be back out in the morning. We'll see you then.